guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be filming a tutorial slash demo on how I created this look right here featuring the new Galaxy palette from Rihanna's holiday collection. I actually really like the way that this look came out, but if you guys are interested in seeing how I created this look and also my thoughts on whether or not I think that this palette is worth it and worth your coins, then keep on watching. All right guys, the first thing that I am going to do is prime my eyelids. I'm gonna be using the Kat Von D High Voltage Eye Primer. I'm gonna be using this primer today because I feel like the formulation of this palette is just a little bit on the dry side. Typically, I use the Soft Ochre Paint Pot for most eyeshadow looks, it works really well. But for this palette in particular, I'm using this base just because it's way more creamy. It's got a little bit more of a sticky texture to it. Next, I'm just gonna take a little bit of translucent powder and I'm going to set my eyelids with this. Even though I did say that this is a drier formula, I'm gonna be using some matte shadows today and when you set your eye base with just like the lightest amount of powder, it really does help the shadows blend so much more smoothly. Now getting into the eyeshadow, I'm gonna be using my Modern Renaissance palette. So first I'm gonna go in with the shade Realger and I'm just taking this on a small blending brush. I'm going to pop this in my crease. For this look, I am gonna kind of wing out my shades. I kind of want to have like that, I don't even know how to describe it, like that elongated look. Just taking like no additional product on the brush, just using whatever's left, I'm going to kind of bring the color back to life. Next, I'm going in with the shade Love Letter. Next, I'm gonna take the shade Venetian Red and I'm just gonna deepen my crease with this and just keep adding dimension. All right, so finally, I'm gonna take Red Ochre. I'm just going to apply this. You guessed it. I'm just gonna layer it up and pretty much use all the reds and oranges and pink tones and warm tones in this palette. Now for the fun part, we're gonna get into the palette. I do really enjoy the packaging. I think the packaging is beautiful. The only thing is that it obviously gets dirty really easily, but whatever. I also really like that it comes with this humongous mirror. So because I have experimented with this palette, I have just come to find that using some sort of glitter glue just makes it work better. I've seen people use it with just their fingers and I have experimented with it using just my fingers, using a brush, a wet brush, different types of brushes. Ultimately, if you wanna get the best payoff, pigmentation, the least amount of fallout, glitter glue is essential. So I'm gonna use my Too Faced glitter glue and I'm going to just apply a little bit of that where I'm going to apply the glitter and I'm going to apply it using this Real Techniques domed shadow brush. It's nice and fluffy so it's not gonna just smack a whole bunch of glue on my lid, you know what I mean? And I'm just going to apply this where I want the glitter to stick. Now really quickly before that dries, I am going to use this shade right here which is called Sunburst. I'm gonna pick it up on my finger and I'm going to just tap this on top of the glitter glue. And you can see there's ultimately like no fallout from that on my face. There's like a little bit, but barely any. All right, so I just wanted to zoom you guys in so you could see what I'm doing a little bit better. I am going to go in with a wet, flat shader brush just so that way I can kind of get the glitter a little bit more precisely on my lid because it is looking a little bit messy and there are some spots that my finger couldn't quite get to. I am gonna take a little bit on my inner corner just because it's getting in my inner corner and I have no choice. I'm gonna get a little bit more glitter glue on my brush and just pop it on the very center of my lid. And then I'm gonna go in with the shade Meteor Crush, which is this really pretty like pink golden shade. It's really hard to tell because they're so reflective, but I'm just gonna get that on my finger and tap that on the center of my lid. This is just gonna add a little bit more dimension. 
So because I feel like I really want the glitter on my eyelids to show through, I'm not gonna do any eyeliner or anything like that, but I am gonna pop on some lashes. These are the Ardell Demi Wispies and they are doubled up. I feel like these are really pretty and they'll really go with the look. So I'm just really quickly gonna pop these on and then I will be right back. So to finish off the eyes, I'm just gonna take pretty much all of the oranges that I was using previously and I'm just gonna smoke that underneath my eyes. I'm starting off with Real Girl and then I'm gonna go in with Love Letter mixed with a little bit of Venetian Red and just pop that underneath as well. I'm also gonna go in with a little bit of Red Ochre. Literally, you guys, I just took every single shade that I used in my crease and put it on my lower lash line. That's pretty much how I do everything around here. And then to finish off the eyes, I'm just gonna do some mascara. Now, I'm gonna go back into the palette and I'm gonna go in with Meteor Crush and I'm gonna take that on a damp brush and apply that on like the center of my lower lash line just because I want more glitter. And like you can see, without the glitter glue, like it doesn't stick to anything. No shade. I'm just telling the truth here. Like it really doesn't wanna stick. And when you're not using glitter glue, the fallout is pretty real. But I'm just gonna kind of like add a little bit of sparkle. Kind of just like all around my eyes because this is a really sparkly look. I'm just going to finish off the face. And I'm actually going to use one of these shades as highlighter today. I'm gonna be using the shade Mars on Fire, which is this one right here. And I'm gonna use that just as a little bit of a highlighter. I've seen people use this as highlighter and I want to. And wow, that's really, really pretty. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, that's, that's really pretty. If you like glitter, then this palette's for you. All right, so that is the completed look. I just wanted to also do like a little mini review for you guys, because obviously I want to talk about how I like this palette or not. That's like what you guys are here for. I have mixed feelings about this palette. I really like it, but at the same time, I just don't think it's worth $60. Even though it is a really beautiful palette, I just don't really understand why it's $60, because the quality just isn't $60 like the fact that the only way that I can get this palette to really reach its full potential is with a glitter glue like I think that you know that's where my issue lies with this palette it's beautiful but it's just not worth the price yeah that's pretty much it I just can't justify spending $60 on something that isn't top-notch quality and then also having to purchase something else to make it work. No shade, no hate. I take this whole like recommending things to you guys very seriously because if I sit here and rave about a product, whether it be like the actual product itself, whether or not it's worth the money, like these are all things you have to take into account. I could recommend something and you guys go out and spend your hard earned money on it and you end up being disappointed and then you know we don't trust each other so those are my thoughts i hope you guys enjoyed this video i love you guys i will see you in the next video